This is Fatima. Here let us discuss how to create ASP.NET Core web application step by step from the scratch. Before proceeding to this video, please watch my previous video that gives you an overview of software required to develop and run ASP.NET Core application based on your operating system. Here let us discuss two things. Creation of an ASP.NET Core web application step by step by using Visual Studio 2017 and the different project templates that are available as a part of .NET Core and what they are going to do. Different kinds of project under .NET Core. Console. If you want to create a standalone command line application, you can choose this console project. Class library. If you want to provide implementation of repetitive jobs for your application, you can choose this class library by using classes, interfaces, namespaces and values. You can provide implementations. Different testing frameworks supported by ASP.NET Core for automatic Unit testing or MS test test project, N unit test project, and X unit test project. With these, you can define and run the unit tests to maintain code health, ensure code coverage, and find errors and faults before your customers do. Initially, MS test didn't have a way to pass parameters into your unit test. So, lot of people opted to use a new unit test. Later, with V2 MS test supports parameters too. So, the difference between these frameworks has lessened now. A new unit test is an open source, provide strong support for data driven test. You can also provide test cases via Excel spreadsheet. This NUnit test supports .NET Core, Xamarin, Silverlight platforms also. Test, test can run from console runner within Visual Studio through test adapter and third party runner. XUnit test is an open source allows you to test your code in a consistent way. ASP.NET Core web application. If you want to create an application accessed via the browser, you can choose this project. To create a ASP.NET Core project, open Visual Studio 2017, select File, New, Project. In the New Project window, from the left pane, expand the Installed Template section and Visual C Sharp section as we are going to use C Sharp as our programming language. You can select .NET Core and from among the different kinds of project, choose ASP.NET Core web application from the middle pane and provide your project name as your wish. and select the location where you want to create the project. Finally, click on OK. Once you click on the OK button, it will open this Select Template section where you need to select the ASP.NET Core version, SDK version and template types. So I am choosing Stable version ASP.NET Core 2.2 and choose any template and also if you want to configure for HTTPS a secure communication over computer networks check this so that any information going to and from your server is auto encrypted prevents hacker from sniffing out your visitors sensitive information as it passes through the internet as of now I no need to configure so I uncheck this and click OK
that's it run the application you will see the output hello world in the browser window the output hello world comes from the configure method of the startup class which is present under startup.cs file open the startup.cs file then change the hello world string to something else then rerun the application it will change the output accordingly different project templates are available for creating asp.net core web applications so let us discuss a little about all these project templates so that in our upcoming video we will use and build the projects asp.net core web application using all these project templates empty project template empty project template as the name says this empty project template does not have any content if you want to do everything manually from the scratch then you need to select this empty template i am planning to use this template so that you will understand how different components are fit together to develop an asp.net core application web application model view controller template this contains everything that is required to create an asp.net core mvc web applications choose this web application mvc template click okay this web application model view controller template creates model view controllers folders it also adds web specific things such as javascript css and layout files which are necessary and required in order to develop a web application API template This application programming interface template contains everything that is required and necessary to create an asp.net core restful http services API template click okay As you see here there is only controllers folder the website specific thing such as css files javascript files view files layout files are not present here this is because the api does not have any user interface hence it does not include any website specific files the api template does not have models and views folders as they are not required for api web application template if you want to create a web application and do not want the full complexity of asp.net mvc then you can use this template the web application template uses a new razor pages framework for building web applications with the new razor pages the coding page focus scenarios are much easier and also more productive razor class library project this razor class library project is used to create a reusable razor class library project once you create this library project the project can be consumed by many applications the application which uses this razor class library project has the flexibility to override the views and pages it contains select this razor class library template and click on okay
Razor Class Library Template. You can use this project to create reusable user interface contents such as data models, page models, pages, and controllers to be consumed by many applications. You can also create an ASP.NET Core web application in combination with Angular, in combination with React.js, in combination with React.js and Redux. Our next video is about ASP.NET Core project file changes from its previous versions of ASP.NET. Thank you.